let's move on to the nitrogen family so nitrogen family is a bit more biggest area and it's really an important area in the field of chemistry let's talk about the periodic table first your table of the chemical elements arranged in the order of atomic number usually in rows so that elements with same atomic structure appear in vertical column so they got a similar chemical characteristics too these are all called as s block elements and these are all called as d block elements this one is p block and here it's specialized one that's noble gases and the lanthanides and actinides from here just extracted and they form the f block elements these are all called as transition elements and this is called inner transition elements the column is considered as periods and this one is considered as rows nitrogen family the group 15 its vanadium elements are nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth so here nitrogen is a gas it makes up to 78 percent of the its atmosphere by volume phosphorus phosphorus is the most abundant element of the 15th group accounting for 0.10 percent of the mass of the earth crust why are you using phosphorus it's in the matchstick i'm trying to show the phosphorus beads here arsenic is used to make pesticide and semiconductors such as gallium arsenide and also germanium arsenide this one is germanium arsenide and also gallium arsenide is used the natural abundance of arsenic antimony and bismuth in the earth's crust is relatively low here is the nitrogen family you are able to see nitrogen phosphorus arsenic, antimony and bismuth with their atomic number, electronic configuration, group number and its period number. Over here you are able to see the electronic configuration is having a standard of Ns2 Np3. That is the standard electronic configuration pattern for the nitrogen family.